Good afternoon, everyone. Glad you could join us on our website for some more information about your health and how chiropractic might help you. Uh, years ago, I had a, a patient come in here uh, to see us for some mid-lower back pain. Uh, his name was Jerry. He worked at a uh, local aerospace company here. Saw Jerry for uh, about six, seven weeks. Jerry then, uh, one of his visits, he said, Dr. McCord, can I talk to you? And he began to tell me that what happened was um, he was actually a, a uh, diabetic, and he had diabetic seizures. In fact, he'd, he'd wrecked three cars. He'd seen six, seven different medical doctors, and all of them told him, all you need to do is keep changing your diet, keep, keep exercising, and that'll help you. And he was on medication for diabetes and, and all of that. His tongue in the morning would be um, beat up because he would bite it from being in, a cert, in, a, in one of his seizures uh, while he was sleeping. And he proceeded to tell me that day, after about six, seven weeks of chiropractic care, he says, I've been meaning to tell you, but I really thought it was a freak thing. Since you started adjusting me, I haven't had any seizures, and I'm feeling better than I've ever felt from the standpoint of my blood sugars. And I go, well, Jerry, that's, that's great. What's, what's happening? What's going on? And he proceeded to come over to this chart, which we have these in our... Um, uh, care rooms, and this is called an autonomic nerve system chart showing how the brain and the spinal cord, which is the core of the body, it's actually the computer system of the body, send nerve signals to all the different organs. And interestingly, what he did is he took me and he says, there's my pancreas right there on that picture, and he drew a correlation back and he says, this is exactly where I was having my pain. And I, I said, well, what do you think was happening? He said, well, I was subluxated. That's a term we use to describe the bones are out of position, putting pressure on the nerve system. And it was blocking the nerve power going to my pancreas. And he said, I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars in the last 10, 15, 20 years on my diabetes. I'm so mad at my medical doctors for never telling me to go see a chiropractor. And I'm telling you that story because how many other people, and maybe you have relatives, maybe yourself, that you're having some kind of internal organ failure and it's not really the fault of the organ. It's not really actually a problem with the organ, it's a problem with the nerve communication between your brain and your nerve, uh, the nerves going to that organ. And I'm holding a sheet, and we'll, we'll show you a blow up version of this, but it says, do you understand the damaging effects of subluxation, where it shows properly aligned vertebra and healthy tissues, crooked vertebra, and diseased uh, tissues. And I, I thought I'd use this prop here as well. This is basically a rheostat and uh, it's actually showing a light and this is like your chandelier switch so it can dim and, uh, and brighten the, uh, the dining room. But this is really analogous to our parts of our body. Like the, the, the light bulb would be an organ like your heart, for example. The nerves or the, uh, the, uh, the wires rather are the nerves and this would be representative of a subluxation in your spine. And what can happen in the subluxation is it doesn't turn it off, totally off, so it's not like cutting the nerve. But what happens is gradually, over a period of time, once you have the subluxation, which can occur from any physical impacts and stress to the body that it can't adapt to, it begins to dim and decrease the nerve power to the point where that organ's not uh, working correctly. So if you're feeling at this point that you may have a subluxation in your spine because you have an organ that's not working correctly, then I would like you to think about your health this much that you would go see a chiropractor. And uh, there's a lot of them out there, but we really are focused on you when you come in here. And we would love to have an opportunity to come and help you, have you come in so we can maybe help you uh, get healthier. So you're going to age into your 80s, 90s, and 100s, not being on 20 medications, not being in a wheelchair, not being using a walker, but having a great life, and that's what we're committed to. Hope you end up uh, following up and checking back with us. Dr. Alan McCord, Kentis Chiropractic. You can call us at 253-854-3040 or go on our website at www.kenteastchiro.com.